Hey, what's up everyone? I am so excited to show you the new responsive alerts for Halloween that just dropped now. These are brought to you by the nerdordie.com store. Go ahead and head over there and get anything that you could need for your stream and check out our Scream and Stream Halloween sale as well while you're at it. I do wanna show you how to set this up inside of OBS. It's a pretty easy process to do so. And after we set it up, I can kind of explain what features it has and talk to you a little bit about why I think these are um, kind of a, a cool alert set. So once you get everything downloaded, you'll have this folder here. Um, it'll have the sound effects, some info about how to get started, but we can skip all that since you're watching this video. And then inside this folder, you'll have something for stream elements and stream labs. So I'm gonna show it on stream labs, but of course, if you're using stream elements, you can just go ahead and, and use that no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. And since I don't have any profiles set up, I'm gonna create a new one and I'll just call this Halloween. After I hit create, we'll then be able to actually hit use to import the alerts into here. So now that we have everything imported, we can actually hit use for this profile and then jump into the alert box. So let's go ahead and copy the URL for the alerts and we're gonna add a browser source into OBS. For this URL, we're gonna paste in the URL that we have and we're gonna leave it at 800 pixels and I'm just gonna adjust it really quickly here and hit test. And what you'll see is actually the alert plays and fills up the width of the browser source here. So if I actually up this to anywhere up to 1980 uh, wide, it'll adjust. So let's just do 1500 and you'll see it kind of quite a bit wider and then test again. So what you can do here is you can actually adjust this up or down. So even if you adjusted it way down to 300, we coded it in a way that makes it adapt. So even the text will still look okay. So you can kind of see that the text doesn't go outside or get too big or anything like that. So it really just depends on how you want to use this. You can actually adjust more than the uh, width as well, but I'll get into that in just a second. So just some recommendations I have is you could kind of put this really nicely against a webcam or fill in some space that you want to kind of match up with some other shapes that you have going on. It's really up to you. But if you're going to change the width, make sure you do it in the browser source properties and you don't just like scale up. It's okay to scale down, but when you're scaling up, you might lose some quality when you're kind of uh, making things bigger than that they need to be. So if you need to scale down, I, I think that's okay, but just try to adjust the width in here first and make sure that you do it there. So anyways, let's look at what customizations we can add to these alerts. Uh, we packed in a couple of features for sure. So when you click each individual alert, you can scroll down to the custom fields. And this is where we coded in um, more options for you. And these will be available in stream elements as well. So if you're a stream elements user, they'll actually be on the left in these drop downs. So go ahead and check those out. All right, so really quickly, I wanna cover what the options are. You have a bunch of different animation types. So blood, broom, evil face, knife, and slash. For any of the alert types, you can go in and customize that. Then we have the delay time, and this is basically how long the name will show up on screen. So right now we have it set at four seconds, which gives the users um, a bit of time to actually read it, but not too much to where it doesn't get like super annoying and stays on. And then here's where you have the box height and you can go all the way up to 100 and down to 60. So I'll just drop it down for now. And then we have the main accent color. So this is where you could just change up your color scheme. Uh, maybe you're into like a spooky um, purple and green combo or something like that. You're not really into the black and orange. You can go ahead and just update things here um, as well. And then the box background opacity is very interesting um, as well. So actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this one to a dark purple and I'll drop down the opacity and I'll show you what that looks like. Let's go ahead and set this main accent to like a really bright, vibrant green. Um, of course you can play around with this and get something that you like. So you'll see the animation now plays in green and then we have this purple box and the opacities drop down in this box in the back and that'll allow you to kind of see through it. So it's up to you if you wanna show that or not. Then we have the alert volume as well. And then down here in the text options, we have the text template for the left side. 
So that will actually be uh, what shows now as nerd or demo, or nerd demo, excuse me. And then the right side just says, just subscribe. So if you don't like this, you can of course update it there. Then we have the font that you wanna use, the font size, the font weight, and then the left side text color and the right side text color. So you can get creative with that and just play around and get something that you think looks really good for your stream. Let us know in the comments if there's any features that you think might be missing. We'll try to patch them in. Or if you have any problems, just head over to nerdodie.com and contact us there. We hope everyone has a very spooky Halloween and you enjoy all the streams playing the fun horror games or whatever you're into. And please let us know in the comments below if you want to recommend a new free resource or maybe you think there's a style we haven't hit with one of our packs on our website. Let us know, please. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.